What is going on, people? This is your boy Jay, and welcome to another episode of Table Talk. In this topic of subject here, I ran across a post that says black men are the only group that's socially engineered not to like their own women. Really? We are socially engineered not to like our own women. Hmm. Hmm. That's funny because the last time I checked, my wife is black. My daughters are black. My mother is black. My sisters are black. You got to make it make sense here, man. Now, another question is, what are some of the reasons why black men are socially engineered not to like y'all? Hmm, let's see. All the songs that y'all make up talking about being independent, not needing a man, and you boss chicks, and this, this, that, and the other. Oh. Let's look, look, let's look at this here, guys. Let's, let's look at this here. The last time I checked, black men are married to black women at a high rate that they're married to any other woman. The last time I checked. Why are we socially engineered not to like y'all? What's what's going on that's turning black men away from y'all? Oh, I can name a whole bunch of things that's turning black men away from y'all. Y'all attitudes, your mentality, your character. There's a whole bunch of things in y'all. That's turning black men away from y'all. Your standards are way too high. And you give too damn little. Most of y'all are stingy. So what type of black men are you talking about? What type of black men are you talking about? Are you talking about the ones that's married to these white women or other women? And, you know, most of these men already know how y'all are. They already know how y'all are, how y'all act. They feel like, you know what? No, I'm good. I don't know. How can you be mad at a black man for being with anybody else when most of y'all are pushing them that way? Your attitudes, your character, and your mentality, how y'all get on social media and just show your ass. We don't like y'all. Y'all give us reasons not to anyway. Y'all give us reasons not to want to deal with y'all and tolerate y'all. But does that mean we don't like y'all? Y'all give us reasons not to want to be with y'all, not to deal with y'all. Y'all do that. Because the garbage that comes out of y'all mouths, your actions, all this stuff plays into facts, man, man. This stuff, this, all of this stuff has to be taken into account. Two, y'all the least married among anybody, the least desired. That ain't even black men that don't like y'all. A lot of people don't like y'all. I can't just blame it on black men. There's a lot of people that don't like y'all. How come you ain't married to an a, 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 a man of Arab descent? How come you're not married to most of... How come y'all not married to white men? In a, because last time I checked, black women are married at a very low percentage. 26%. That means don't nobody want y'all. And what's the reason why don't nobody want y'all? Y'all have a few bad experiences with a bunch of dusty Negroes that y'all, the dusty dudes that y'all done laid up with, and y'all want to blame it on all men. You got to take accountability for that. You let that dusty dude do what he did to you. And I ain't want to blame all men because you didn't get the outcome that you wanted by picking a bum. You picked that bum. You picked several bums. And then you turn around and gave children to these bums. You turn around and gave babies to this to these bums. You knew these guys were bums, but you can't put that on all black men because you made the bad choice to lay up with a guy. You made the bad choice to let a dude nut up in you. You made the bad choice to give this dude a child or these dudes children. And black men don't like y'all. We're socially engineered, socially engineered not to like y'all. I want to make that make sense to me, man. Make it make sense. 
because y'all actions, y'all mentality, this modern woman mentality that y'all got, is the reason why black men don't want to deal with y'all. Y'all got some of the nastiest attitudes. Y'all just, some of y'all could be ghetto. And this, and this is not all women. This ain't all black women. We can't say this about all of y'all. See, that's the difference right there. We're not lumping all of y'all in the, in the clay. Because not all of y'all are the same. Hell, twins don't even think alike. So we can't even say that all black women act like this. Or all black women are wretched. Or all black women are ghetto. Or all black women are loud mouth. Or all black women are disgusting and trifling. We can't say that about y'all. All of y'all. Because that does not, that's not fair to the good women. The good black women out there. It's not fair to them. But why do y'all always want to lump all black men in the same bunch just because you had a bad experience with a few bums? That should say something about you. You keep picking the same type of bums. That should say something about you. You keep attracting these bums. You keep attracting these losers. You keep attracting these pookies and ray rays. You keep attracting them. And then you want to take it out on all black men because you made bad choices after choice after choice. You did that. Then you pick the same type of bum. The same type of pookie. Same type of Ray Ray. And then you try to change them. It's not the fact that black men don't like black women. Hell, y'all use the our first preference. Until we see otherwise. Because most men that have become successful, why are they not marrying black women? Because they see things in y'all that you don't think they see. Most of y'all are out to take these men's money. You, 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 you're undercover white supremacist if you ask me. You here to take away from this man. I really don't care about black men like that. You're too busy trying to take from them. That's why they don't want you. You're too busy trying to come up with some evil, wicked scheme or whatever to take this black man down. You get married to him. You ain't happy. This, that, and the other. Now you want to take half your stuff. Now you want to take half your stuff. I mean, that could be to any woman. Any, that could be any woman. That ain't just necessarily, necessarily black women. Any woman could be like that. But it's mostly y'all. Y'all's attitude. Y'all's character. Y'all mentality. This modern woman mess that y'all got yourselves into. They did black man don't like y'all. Black man ain't got time to deal with this BS that y'all got out here. Especially the decent black man. The man that's got something going for himself. They ain't got time to put up with all that garbage y'all putting out. He don't have to. He don't have to make time for a black woman just because she's a black woman to put up and deal with her bullshit. He don't have to have that stress. He's already got enough stress fighting society, fighting the world. Then he got to come on and deal with you and your bullshit. Nah, I think they'll pass. They should. Now, I don't care who get mad about this. Because I, I know one thing. Most, a lot of y'all going to be triggered. A lot of y'all gonna be triggered. Why? Ah, y'all just hating black women. And then why you gotta throw, oh, he must hate his mother or something. What the hell? Hey, him him disliking you and your bad actions decision got nothing to do with his mama. Because that's what a lot of y'all do. Y'all wanna throw the man's mom in there. Oh, you don't must not, you must hate your mama. She black, you must hate your mama. The man love his mama. But you ain't his mama. So shut up. You ain't his mama. Why are you throwing his mom in now? To wrap this up, guys. We don't hate y'all. We don't hate y'all at all. We just dislike some of the stuff that y'all say and do. Because a lot of y'all standards are way off the chart. And half y'all even meet, can't even meet the damn standards you set your damn selves. Your standards are out. Of, you, you, you got outrageous standards. And you wonder why don't no man approach you. It ain't just black men. No man approaches you. That's all I got to say. This is another episode of Table Talk with your host, Jay. And 
I'm out of here.